Hello everyone, I am Mohamed Khalil from Tremble and I will be glad to share with you some new features of Tecla structures for concrete segment. Uh, let's start with the new feature in Tecla Warehouse which is called Use DWG for Modeling. With this tool, you can browse all the content of the DWG file and use the left side filters to select the polygons. And by selecting the floor layout and pressing create button, you will convert all polygons to concrete slabs. Then I will select rectangles from filter and create the openings for those slabs. And the same, I can select the hatches from the left side filter and convert the hatches to concrete walls. This is the lofted slab new feature which you can model curved and double curved slabs. For this example I will create lofted slab between two construction arcs. Just select the first arc and select the second arc then the slab will be created. Also now we have a tool to export Tecla model to RVT Revit format to use it for coordination purpose. This is the visualizer tool. It's a very easy tool for rendering. Here you can see different assigned materials. You can control the shadow direction and the brightness and you can easily take some snapshots from the 3D to create very smooth video for a better presentation. For precast now we have palletizer tool for arranging the precast elements on the production palettes. First we will define the palette settings and then we will upload the selected precast element to the low space placing tool and finally you will get the optimization rate of each palette. Also stacker a new tool for precast to blend the transportation of the precast elements. First you will select symbol or custom stack and then you can place the elements on the stack one by one. You can also fine tune the placing manually by rotation or move the elements. And also you can set the maximum load for each stack so I will remove this part and finally you can export the output in PDF format. For rebar set modeling in 2019 version we have a lot of features. Now you can control the rebar range upon creation. Also the rebar set now can recognize the cuts and the openings also in the concrete parts or pores before creation. And also rebar set can now detect the inner contours of parts, meaning you can detail voids much quicker than ever before. You can drag in to create extensions before creation also. And the new feature to show the total length of bar in the model and the new rounding option for the rebar set you can add for example 5 mm rounding for the straight bars and then just click on regenerate rebar set button to update the rebar length after rounding and also the cranking option 
was added to the splitter type you can add splice for the repair set and then modify the splitter type to cranking and also you can modify the crank rotation for drones we have some new features one of them is the clone selected command first select the object you want to clone from and select the other objects to clone to everything is cloned part mark associated notes and dimensions you can also clone to multiply parts with area selection and now we have option to control the drawing versions for each drawing from this list you can go back for any version and just open the version you need and save it as a current version thank you for watching and for our loyal customers you can take the advantage of these features and if you are not in maintenance so you are missing out